Oh, thinking and research skills. This morning, I've brought in your marked assignments. Thank you. I wonder how I've done. I wonder what grade I've got. Oh, brilliant. That's better than I expected. Oh, no. I got an F. I'm no good at writing assignments. I get all muddled up. I could give you some pointers, if you'd like. That would be brilliant. It's all about breaking down the assignment into little chunks. How would you eat an elephant? I don't know. What has this got to do with an assignment? Well, you'd eat it bit by bit. You wouldn't eat it all at once. Not that I'm saying you would actually eat an elephant. But you get the idea. You should break it up into chunks that you can manage. Oh, I can do that. First, look at the title. What does it ask you to do? Does it ask you to outline, discuss or compare? If you don't know what the word means, look it up in a study skills book or ask your lecturer. OK. Next, read a bit about the topic. Why don't you read a short book to get an introduction? You could also read a chapter or introduction in a longer book. That sounds like a good start. Whatever you read, write down the key points and don't get sidetracked by things that aren't relevant to your topic. Make sure you read widely. Don't just use one book. You need to look at different people's opinions. I'd never thought about that before. Think about what you read. Don't just blindly copy the information without thinking about what it means. Does the author have a bias? Is there prejudice in their writing? Does it miss out information? Textbooks are good because they give you different views. I'll give it a go. When you have read several books and journal articles, you should be able to spot some key themes. Write down these themes and illustrate them with examples. Whenever you write, make logical connections and explain how you got there. Oh yeah! So the reader can follow your train of thought. Yes! Now you're picking it up. Evaluate the information you read and consider its value. Does it prove the argument that you are making or weaken it? If you have examples of both, put them in. You can discuss them. Hmm. Some study books make a mind map and group things together on one piece of paper. Then you can plan the structure of your assignment. That makes writing it all seem a bit easier. Better than writing in the dark with nothing planned. I just need to remember all of the steps. Here is a little summary for you. Be like an elephant and don't forget to understand the title, read widely, look out for key themes, compare and contrast, analyse and illustrate, evaluate, plan. <laughs>